Okay. Trimetric. Here it goes. Dancing around for no reason. There is nothing going on. I should have just a constant negative 10 watt load on this thing. And it's just moving all over the place. It's not doing what it did uh, a little while ago. I saw it shoot all the way up to 300 and something watts. Or 380 or something. Jesus, now it's 13. So there's nothing going on. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Twenty? What? Okay, so this is just crazy. But I just wanted to capture this. I'm glad I caught it. I just have so I just wanted to, in case anyone's interested, I've got it wired. I have not changed the wiring on uh, the trimetric. The trimetric. There's four leads. Got these two blacks. Got this blue. This blue just goes right to the uh, positive terminal of your battery bank. Um, in my case, it's right here. You can see it right down here. And it connects onto my positive uh, bus bar. And this is connected directly to the battery. So that's correct. That's, that measures voltage. You've got your two blacks. They attach to the right side of the Kelvin screw here. One of them actually attaches to this one and then it attaches onto there. And then you've got your white lead, which is on the left side, uh, the left Kelvin screw. That's this one here. I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything with it. Um, and the shunt itself is wired um, on the right side. My negative battery bus bar. My negative bus bar. So, so it's basically measuring every all everything that comes in here, all the negatives, and crosses through the shunt and carries on to. The negative, this goes to the terminates at the negative um, terminal on my battery bank. So I haven't haven't messed with any of this. It's it's all completely um, unchanged. And it's been working for a year. So I don't know. 